Hey, hey, Bruh. the science update is here and I will be reviewing it. With the science update also came the winter update. There's not much of a difference between last year and this year, but we're still going to check it out. But first, we're going to check out the cosmetics. Okay. All right. I'm not going to look yet. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. Bro, you got like tongs right here. You got, you got a stopwatch. Whatever that is. Safety glasses, a gas mask, an atom badge, whatever that hat is, a tinfoil hat, a monkey, and an x-ray. Let's go try all of this on. Okay, so the first thing we have on our list is the stopwatch. This is what it looks like, and this is what it looks like up close. It actually works, and this will be really good for scrims. Next up, we got the tongs. These actually make noise whenever you hit it on glass, and it makes a different noise whenever you hit it on floor. This is what it sounds like whenever you hit it on the glass. And this is what it sounds like whenever you hit it on the floor. Pretty annoying, am I right? Okay, so next we got this magnifying glass. And whenever you actually point it to the mirror, you can spot a little ant. That's what it looks like. Pretty big. Not little. Yeah, I wish that's what she said. But I think this is pretty cool. Let me know down below if it's worth the shiny rocks and if you would give it. Next we have the paper airplane and it actually works too. Whenever you throw it, it will look like this. It is actually nice and I would get this. Next up we have the magnet and it actually attracts the things that are metal. So if we go over to the window right here and we put it next to it, it'll actually zap it. Next we have a bat cosmetic. This is a really nice bat cosmetic and I think it actually, yep, it zaps. Next up we have the gas mask. Really big for my liking. I wouldn't get this at all, but let me know if you would. Next up we got the safety goggles. I do not see a difference between having no face accessories or having these goggles on. Another axiom made these too clear. Next up we got the Atom Badge, and it kind of looks like the Finger Painter. And if you want me to get Finger Painter, comment down below, Strahd for Finger Painter. Next up we got this hat right here, and it actually zaps the stuff as you can see. Then we got this Tin Foil hat, which is actually really realistic, and it kind of reminds me of a zombie apocalypse. And finally we got this X-Ray, looks pretty nice, looks what a monkey body would look like, and I would get this. Alright now we're going to check out the basement, because that's what updated the most. Just open this door and make our way down here. All right, as you can see, you see a bunch of new posters, but whenever you turn to your right, you will see this. This acidic cylinder took over the monster's dungeon. And I actually think it's pretty cool, because whenever you go in here, you know, you usually go small. Whenever you fall down here, you turn acidic. You can make your way up here and put these monkey mentos in the bottle. After five, it should start to erupt and it will start chasing you. There should be acid that comes out of there, yup. And you have to beat the game in order to get a shirt up there. We're gonna check out the forest. As I said, the forest really didn't change at all. So if you remember it from last year, you should know what it looks like. And oh my gosh, the lighting is amazing. Wow. Like, just look at this. And yeah, you guessed it. The ice is back. Let's see if we can still do TTT Pig's Mega Jump. All right, this is my first try. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Um, I did it, but I hit the sides. That was completely a fail. And yeah, that's the forest. If you're liking the videos that I'm posting, then make sure to subscribe. If not, you can just keep watching. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!